In today's video, I'll show you guys how to get free access to historical chart because I like free stuff and for once something is free. So as usual, before getting the video, a quick reminder that all the best tools will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out if you're looking for a good broker, scanner, charts, or news feed. Let's get in the video. So the tool we're going to be using is going to be bar chart. So this website is full of things that are actually pretty decent. But the only thing I really like them for is to have access to the historical chart for the rest. It's not the best. So the first thing you're going to do is head over the website and create yourself a free account or you can probably do the same thing without it. I don't really remember, but just create a free one. It's going to take a couple seconds. And then the next thing you're going to do is go over here to stock and go to stock screener. So when this is done, you can create yourself a couple filters um, for completely free. You're going to be able to save like one or two. Uh, right now I'm paying like a dollar subscription, but you can do the same thing for zero dollar. So when this is done or maybe you want to do something else, you can save them, save screen and have a couple of screens over there. But the main thing that we're going to do is go over the search bar and search for the stock you are looking for. So we're going to look at Tilray because I want to go back to historical chart to when a IPO because it was a big run. It was a, a hot momentum sector and I want to see how everything played out intraday. So over here, we're going to go to full chart. This is going to be pretty important. And then you're going to pop this window open using this little arrow. And after that, we're going to just customize it and I'll show you guys how to access the historical data. So to set it up, just click on settings. And the next thing you're going to have to just choose candlestick open to close. And I like to have the font too small. And then the wick is going to be uh, just this color over here, as you can see. And the border, what I did is I removed the border. You're going to be able to see that there's this little thing right here. And if you just put, for example, white and then just click apply, you're going to have like a massive border on, around the candle. This is something I had to play for a while, but just go back to over here and it's just going to remove completely the side. And it's just going to be a better way to visualize your chart. Otherwise, it's just annoying. So when setting is done over here, high low, I have this to hide extended hour is applied so you're gonna also be able to get the extended hour which is what we want pretty much next thing if you go to display i have show cross air which is really important then the color choose the color you want over here and then scale have linear price and then i have a hide show price label this is just something i have there event I want to see earnings and i also want to see split and appearances tool panel i have hide and here grid basic color, grid color um, i have it to some like really dark one and vertical and all the axis is like that so when this is done this is what your chart is going to look like if you want to have the study this is where you actually add them so moving average pretty simple and when this is done something you have to do is just go to template and then save it as current template or as a new template for yourself and you're going to be able to put a name when you're using the free version you're able to save two templates so this is what i would recommend or what you can also do is get the free trial that's like a dollar for 30 days i know i said it was free but this is a second option and you can have multiple templates and when you unsubscribe you actually keep the template there which is the best thing so right now, because I have the free version or I'm not using anything else, I have two templates selected. So one for the daily and one for the intraday. So right now I have it set up to the daily chart. And what I did is just you can go to manage template and then decide uh, which one is going to be your default one and which one is going to be the other one. So um, what I want to see is technically over here, we're going to go back to when a IPO and this one was over here. If we want to zoom in on a section, just go at the bottom and just going to be able to zoom so you can have more flexibility with that. But what we want is just go over here and look at the date. So at the bottom, you see it's going to be 09. 19 2018 so then what i do is i switch to my intraday template and then i'm gonna click right over here and i'm gonna do it was the month it was 09 19 and it was i think it was 2018 and then i'm gonna just copy this over here and copy it and i like to just add a couple days um it's just a bit better than putting the exact date because you're going to be able to zoom in on the section that you really want versus just seeing one day. So after you click apply and then you're going to get the chart that you want. So right now you guys can see this is a two minute chart with the indicator I have for my template. 
which is a 10 EMA and also VWAP. There's one thing you probably realize you don't see the color pre and post market. They don't have this option, which is kind of unfortunate, but for me, it doesn't really matter much because I can see where the volume came in. A second thing I did some time to kind of help me out to see where really is the um, open and the close is I just put a volume bar or like a vertical bar like this. So then I can filter out uh, where it is or something like that. It might help or it might not, but I personally just look at the volume bar. It's pretty easy to know when it open. And then you're going to be able to see all your chart intraday the way you want it. And this is not all of it because for sure you can, like I said, you can add some tools, some notes. You can do a couple of other, other things, add your profit, stop loss, entry and exit. There's a lot of tools or things that you can do with this chart. And after that, which I really like, instead of having to copy and paste it or print screen it, you can just go over here and say save chart as image. And then when this is done, you can just go over here and open it. And after that, you can put it in a document because you're going to have it as a file and have it in full resolution instead of having a low quality screenshot, which is much better to just have it as a JPEG that's coming out of a platform versus a screenshot, as I said. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. Peace.